strip washes, detergents you can use to wash your car that are gonna degrade or perhaps remove last stage protection waxes and sealants. In this video, we're gonna be comparing five different products on their ability to do just that. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, guys. Before we get started, as always, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified of future videos. And you can join us on our Forensics Detailing private Patreon community with all different levels of tiering. If you want to get a bit more access to me to ask me questions or other tiers where you can do monthly contests or advanced viewing on content, all that sort of stuff. And finally, we have an online training course, six modules over four hours and 23 minutes of detailing training online. And all the information on this online training course that I put together is in the description. So let's get started on this video, which is a subject of strip washes. Okay, so strip washes, guys. I'm generalizing a little bit here, but these products generally claim to degrade or remove last stage protection products, waxes and seams. Now, this is a critical point around strip washes because I'm of the opinion that Detergents cannot strip or remove last stage protection, especially when it's freshly laid down. So what these products can actually do is a controversial area that I'm, in, I'm interested in exploring in this video uh, and talking about as well. But quite simply as well, I want to take a load of different products and compare them and provide a recommendation. So we're killing two birds with one proverbial debunking, <laughs> detailing stone. That's the aim of the video. Now, what are the five products? Adams Strip Wash, been around a long time, reasonably well respected product as far as I know. Um, Chemical Guys, Clean Slate, same thing again, been around for a while, widely used um, strip wash type product. A new one, Garage Therapy slash Decon Shampoo. Now, this isn't advertised essentially as a strip wash, it's more of a decontamination shampoo that's designed to hit your car a bit harder and remove some forms of contaminant prior to preparing your car. But it also talks about strip washing and it's there to help degrade protection as well. So it's in that category. I'm ch you're choosing my words very carefully. I'm trying to represent the products properly. And next is Ferrecla High Shine Shampoo. Now this used to be called, two iterations ago, it used to be called Detox Shampoo, I believe. Then it was called G3 Body Prep Shampoo, which is what I bought it as, but this product turned up, High Shine Shampoo. I pinged Freckler an email and they confirmed that this is the same product as the G3 Body Prep Shampoo. They've just changed the name. Now this product does not claim to remove or even, I don't think it even claims to degrade last stage protection um, like the Detox type shampoo, but it does claim to be a preparation type shampoo that's gonna help clean the surface, you know, to then be an ideal step for them applying protection. But it doesn't claim to strip LSP. So I'm, I hope I'm re representing the products correctly here, okay? And then finally, we have just standard dish soap. Doesn't really matter. You know, it's a store brand one. Um, very affordable. And lots of people say that you just use fairy liquid, you know, or dish soap as it's called, if you don't, don't want to pick a brand. Um, and that will have the same impact and that will strip your protection as well. Um, now obviously this dish soap is not designed for cars, it's designed to wash cutlery and plates and stuff like that. Um, so it's obviously got to be safe, it's obviously got to be rinsable and skin safe. So can it be used? That's the little preface guys. And now I want to go on to all of the little bits that we've tested and give you some final conclusions. So test one, let's start with price or value for money based on cost per wash. So this Adam's Strip Wash product is 15 pounds approximately for just under 500 mil. You use 75 mil per wash, which gives you 2 pound 25 cost per wash. It's the most expensive product in here. So it only picks up one mark. The next most expensive product is the Garage Therapy costing 11 pounds for 500 mil using an average of 57 mil per wash, which is between their range 
which gives you a cost per washer approximately £1.26. So that picks up two marks. Now, the next most expensive one, with the, they seem to be sort of halving each time, don't they, in price? The chemical guys, £10.99 for just under 500 mil, but you use 30 mil per wash less, which is a lot less product. Um, so that's going to give you a cost per wash of 66p, which is actually getting to decent value. The average cost per wash of automotive shampoos, when I did the best shampoo, was roughly about 30p a wash. So this is still twice the price of a normal shampoo. Next best value for money, Freckler High Shine, £8, 500ml, but you only use 20ml, which gives you a rough cost per wash of 32p, which is a rough market average. So that's great, decent value. And finally, the dish soap, that can cost about a pound for 500 mil. The price of these can vary. And I've used, based that average amount on the average of all of these products. So it's a rough average of how much you use per wash. And it gives you a cost per wash of about 9p. So if you're only interested in price, then using dish soap as a kind of strip wash gives you the best value for money by quite a significant margin. Might be a little bit higher than this, depending on which one you use. So, Maybe up to 15p or even 20p, but significantly cheaper than the next one, which is half the price of that one, which is half the price of that one, which is half the price of that one. And I think it's fair to say that the cost per wash of the Adams product is very high. Yes, you can counter this by saying you're not using this all of the time, but when you start getting to £2.25 cost per wash um, for one component, one detergent of maybe about 10 different products you might use when you're washing a car, if they're all £2.25, then your cost per wash overall for your car could be up to as much as, say, £22.50 if we follow that through. So price does matter, and I think it's important to try and get those values down. And this just gives you, hopefully, a fair comparison of pricing and the results in a ranking order. So there we go. Next up, guys, I've got a row here called Normal Usage Plus Claims. Now, my black E36 was going to the body shop, to be resprayed, and I wanted to get all of the remnants of wax and sealant off of the car. So I just used these products at normal recommended ratios following instructions and made some notes around them. So it's important to do that when you test these products as well. The first thing with the Adams is you have to use a lot more of this product than the other one. According to their instructions, 75 mil up to in the bucket. Um, when you do that, you get a lovely thick foam you're probably best off gloving up, because I made a note, it does dry your hands out. It's quite strong stuff, even though it feels like a normal shampoo. They're all kind of probably guilty of that. Now, the thing with the Adams product that is interesting are the product claims. Now, the, the wording here is quite clear. Adams Strip Wash, and the, you know, the Strip Wash claim is, product name is quite, you know, tells you or implies that it's going to strip the product off, doesn't it? is a concentrated soap blend that removes any wax and sealant protection as you clean your ride. So that wording is not ambiguous. Uh, and it also has another bullet point on its claim there. Safely strips wax and sealant. Does not dry out plastic or rubber. No, it doesn't. Uh, rinses without streaks, yes. High suds formula, safely removes dirt and other contaminants. Yes, although not all contaminates, contaminants. So I just have a slight improvement that I would like to be made with this product because as we've demonstrated in this video and I'll show you later on and as I've demonstrated with other videos that I've tested this on, if you use this product as instructed, it does not, in my opinion, strip the wax or sealant from a car. Um, so I think the, the wording could be changed to state that because people that are into detailing understand that a detergent can't strip fresh protection, but people that aren't don't know that. And if they were to read these product claims, they would think the product could do that. So I think that's an improvement that could be made. So that is the main thing around this. Claims it can strip. Claims it strips. Strips. Okay. Uh, and you have to use a little bit more. Apart from that, absolutely fine. The next thing, Chemical Guys Clean Slate. I really liked using this one. It's got a nice citrusy lemon smell. It didn't really feel overly harsh or dry out my skin. My hands didn't feel dry. Um, now, the wording on this product is a little bit, it's a little bit better in my opinion. Um, and it says, 
Clean Slate Surface Cleaner Wash is a premium shampoo specifically formulated to wash and strip away layers of waxes or sealants off the surface of your vehicle. So, okay, that's similar to the Adams, isn't it? Um, this advanced cleaning formula releases dirt, grime, waxes, sealants, oils, and any type of protective coating away from the surface. Clean Slate is super concentrated for maximum cleaning power that rinses off the, the surface. Okay. The, there's somewhere in here it's got a key word. <laughs> uh, where is the key word? The innovative surface cleaning shampoo washes away old layers of wax and sealant to prepare the surface for a new layer of protection. So it's that wording they've put on here that it will get old layers. And I think it's important to put that wording because that just that just helps perhaps remove confusion around the fact the product won't remove fresh sealant and wax. And that's an important thing to do. Um, so there you go. So I prefer the fact that's in there. You might think that's really being picky, but I don't know why, I just think it's important. So claims it can strip old wax and sealant. Old, W and S. And you use less product. Um, and it's less drying on the skin. Now, the Garage Therapy Decon Wash. Okay, what does this say? What does this say? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Features and specification. Premium quality. Strong alkaline pH balance. The strength to strip old waxes and sealants. High lubrication, foamy action, yes. Free rinsing, no residue, yes. Highly concentrated, yes. So this stuff will dry your hands out as well, but you probably want to glove up, but that only gives you limited protection, doesn't it? You can never stop. If you dunk it into a bucket of it, um, you can use these in snow foam lances as well. I was using them in the bucket when I tested them on my black peril. So key thing here is it claims old waxes and sealants, okay? There was another thing on this bottle. No, that's fine, that's fine. This product here, oh, this is very thick and foamy as well, guys. So if you like high suds and all that sort of stuff, you'll like this as well. The next one, Ferrecla. This product is low foaming. I think it actually talks about that in its product description as well. So if you like a high, thick foaming shampoo, then this might not be the product for you. Cool thing about this is you use very small amounts of the product, so it gives you decent value. It does seem very free rinsable. Um, the problem is there's no claims on the bottle around stripping, no claims on stripping. So I'm almost, I almost bought this because of the, because of the old prep shampoo, and then I'm left valuing and reviewing a product on its ability to strip when it's not making any claims around stripping. Um, so it's a bit awkward really. This is more now like a deep cleaning shampoo than a strip wash. So anyway, it is what it is, isn't it? That's just part of, part of life. Next thing, dish soap, guys. What was this like to work with? Sometimes when you use dish soaps, they're all different. And some of them are some of them are good and like nice and easy and free rinsing. Some of them can be a little bit difficult to rinse. This one come off the car great. So I had no problems with this. In fact, if you blind tested it, ready in the bucket for me, I probably wouldn't have known beyond the smell that it wasn't an automotive shampoo. Uh, it's phenomenally cheap and um, it washed the car reasonably well with, without any problems. So you could use dish soap to wash your car. The reason I say you don't use it routinely because you could save a bit of money using dish soap, couldn't you? Although the shampoos that I use are cheaper than the dish soap because there's some real cheap ones out there. Um, the reason I don't use them routinely is because they typically contain about 5% alcohol solvent if you look at the SDS for most um, washing up dish soaps. So that's going to degrade protection a bit more than a pH neutral shampoo if that's important to you. And they're not really formulated for cleaning cars. Um, but they are mild on your hands. So they are almost kind of suitable. It's not a bad hack. So that, so no claims around cars. 
because it's, it's a hack. There's loads of claims around how they clean your dishes. So that's normal usage things. Um, the key summary of that really is that the Ferrecla doesn't foam that well and the Adams product you need to use a little bit more and it does claim that when you use it, it will strip sealant and waxes. Okay, on to the next test, degreasing. Next up, take three. We're gonna test, to see if these products can remove the Forensics Dirt Simulator, which requires a good amount of degreasing. Now, I, historically I've used, tested a load of products and APCs and shampoos and pre-washes against my dirt simulator and I run the tests at 5% PIR. So I'm gonna put these at 5% PIR so that I can test how strong they are compared to each other and all the tests I've done historically. And I will overlay you the results of performance cleaning off the dirt simulator at 5% PIR and free rinsing. Okay, in first place, the only product that could just melt the dirt simulator that I would classify as a powerful degreaser at 5% PIR is the Garage Therapy product. Just stripped it, 99% of it off, you know, back to almost white. You can just see tiny little bits of it. As good as it gets though in terms of free rinsing cleaning. In second place was the Adams, where there's still quite a lot of the dirt simulator left, but you can see it's on the grayscale, it's less than the others, and I could see it coming, come, coming off the panel. So this was the next best one, but quite a difference between these two. In third place, with degreasing power, was the Fairy Liquid. In fourth place, was the Ferrecla. And again, I'll overlay all the shots and you can see the difference in colors and it coming off and all that sort of stuff. And in last place, with degreasing power, degreasing power note, was the Chemical Guys Clean Slate. And I'll overlay you all the shots. So let's put those marks up, or those rankings up, there so that gets the five points that gets the four the three the two careful the one so there's our points we're going to move on to the final test test five stripping a wax so on our test panel we polish it with pure abrasive, we degrease it. We apply a modern paste wax. So we're using the Turtle Wax Ceramic Plus Graphene Paste Wax, which has decent durability. It's a modern product. We leave it 24 hours to cure on that panel, which is very important, actually. Give it a good cure. Then what we do is we section off the panel with a raised bit of tape so that the tape minimizes the cross-contamination when you're rinsing. We mix all the products out at 5% PIR again, so that we're comparing them at the same usage ratio, okay? The standard comp comparison, 5% PIR, which is how I like to test them. We lay a film of that detergent out over each of the test panels and we leave it for 10 minutes and then we come back and rinse it and observe. And then we put it back on, leave it 10 minutes, rinse it and observe, and we put it back on, 10 minutes, rinse it and observe. That gives a total dwell time of around about 30 minutes of detergent dwell time. And from doing this sort of testing for many, many years, you can start to see the degradation after sort of that 30 minutes of dwell time. You could do one minute dwell time and rinse, but that requires me to sit there getting wet feet for, for hours on end with the same results. So as long as we're consistent with the dwell times across all of the products, and that, that test works well. What, the, what were the final results after these three 10 minute hits of detergent, guys? And I'll overlay you the shots as well. Now, we're looking for slowdown. We're not looking for fast sheeting. We're looking for the panel that slowed down the most is the most effective. And there was an absolute clear stonking winner by a long way, and it's the Garage Therapy. This product, probably out of all of them, has stripped the, the, the movement of the water down the panel is so slow, it's exactly the same when there's no product there. It's the only one where if I had to put some money on it being stripped, that is the one that stripped it. You get the idea. The next one in second place. Well, I would do it as a joint second because I can't tell the difference in the sheeting speed 
and it's between the Adams and the chemical guys. So I'm going to give them a joint three marks because there's still a big difference between that. So rather than giving them a joint four, if they were a bit closer to stripping than the garage therapy, I might be giving them a four each, but I'll give them a three each. And then after that, it was the Freckler, so that gets two. And then the dish soap was the one that, where the water was flying down the panel. A bit of slow down, but it's the fastest sheeting. And there's just a slight difference between the two, and you can see it. So I was expecting the dish soap to probably be up there with some of the mid-order ones, based on where it came in the degreasing and the fact that they tend to be quite powerful strippers. But it wasn't. So that is my order, guys. So let's just go through and add up all of these points. So Adams, price really has affected it. You know, it's only got one mark there, so it's got a total of eight marks. Chemical guys, clean slate, a total of seven marks. Garage therapy, apart from the price, where it's, you know, second most expensive, it's performed the best in degreasing and removing wax. So that's 12 marks. Ferrecla, eight marks. And dish soap, nine. It's not bad, is it? Five, eight, nine, yeah. Jesus. So dish soap, I suppose, the price has really helped it. If you are looking for a very cheap chemical that might hit your paintwork a bit harder than a normal shampoo, then a dish soap will probably serve that purpose. Although you could argue that if you've got an APC kicking around, you could just use that in a bucket and it would probably be a bit more aggressive than the dish soap. But who knows? That's untested, so that's been a bit harsh on the dish soap. The overall winner in this test, guys, is the Garage Therapy. John, you're biased. You're wearing a Garage Therapy top. This test, guys, you can repeat it yourself. You could, you, there'd be loads of you with this paste wax, so you can just put it on a panel, put these at 5% and do the testing. We don't pull the wool over your eyes. These are all decent products, but if you're looking for power, degreasing power, and degradation of waxes and sealants, and you're not worried about money, then this is clearly the most powerful product in this test. If you're worried about money, and that's your priority, you're gonna go with the Fairy Liquid. The Freckler product, you're not gonna use really from what I've seen in this testing if you want to strip waxes and seeds. And that's fine, and I'm treading very carefully because it doesn't make that product claim. So I have to be very important that I don't misresent the products and say, this product is poor because it can't strip waxes and seeds. Well, it's not saying that it can. So it's a little bit of a fish out of water in this test. These two products, disappointed by how the Chemical Guys product degreases, and it says you can use it to remove polishing oils and stuff like that, but it's the greasing power was low. So I thought this might be the, the poor performer, but it did have a good degradation on, those, on the wax after those hits. And it's got a good price to it and you don't use too much and it's quite concentrated. It smells nice, it's got like citrus scent to it. I think it's an okay product for 10.99. Don't have any major problems with it. I just want it to be a little bit more powerful now the Adams product, I think, might be a little bit more powerful. That's my opinion. Um, it's a little bit more expensive though, or considerably more expensive, let's be fair. It's considerably more expensive, but it's a little bit of a stronger degreaser. So there you go. Um, what do I want with the Ad Adams product? I like the product price to come down a little bit if possible. And I'd like a little tweak to the wording to say, it will never be able to strip fresh, fresh protection, but it will be able to degrade protection generally and potentially remove the remnants of old waxes and sealants. That's the, the language that I'd like to see on all of these products. So I hope you enjoy this video, guys. It's interesting for me. The final question that I want to answer in this video, so hopefully now you understand if you've got a wax on your car, a modern wax that's two or three weeks old and it's still buzzing and very hydrophobic, you are not gonna strip it with any detergent, okay? That's the number one thing that I wanna come across from this video. You can degrade them a little bit more with these products. Are they worth having? I think so. Um, the argument is you could probably use an APC, a very strong APC in place of them if you wanted to. 
they're not that much more expensive than APCs. And in fact, because they're highly concentrated, sometimes they're cheaper. So the way I see it is they might be tools that are almost essential if you're doing this day in, day out as a professional detailer. You might really want a slightly more aggressive prep wash type product. For me at home, I'm sort of sitting on the fence at the moment. I can see the use of them. I can see the value, but I'm kind of like a minimalist. I like to have the minimum amount of detergents anyway, um, you know, for because of space and stuff like that. So I found this video quite useful. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts on this whole strip wash thing. Do you stock one? Are there other ones out there that you recommend that you like? Is this an interesting area of detailing? I, th I think... It went as expected for me. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, <laughs> one more call to action. Please subscribe and um, I'll see you um, on future videos on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. It was I